Hi guys, today we're going to do a pre-flight checklist uh, on this airplane here. This is a Diamond Star uh, DA40 2005. It's a four-seater um, equipped with G1000. Uh, and today we're just going to do a pre-flight uh, inspection. And these, this is basically what you do uh, before you get into the airplane and uh, go fly it. Okay. Um, I don't have the key for this airplane today, uh, but we don't need it to do a pre-flight inspection, which is good. So first things first, you want to make sure everything is off. See all the electronics here. Uh, make sure it's off. Make sure all the circuit breakers there are keyed in. As they are, if they're not keyed in, you see one shoot out. Uh, so everything looks off, which is good. Um, <clears throat> So I'm going to grab this here because we're going to need this. This is uh, what you use for your fuel sump. So once you grab this, um, usually you want to uh, put the battery on, which I'll do right now. So the reason you put the battery on is to check, uh, one, the fuel level on both tanks. Uh, you want to see, you know, what amount of fuel you have. And you also want to check the lights. Good here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that battery back off. But you also, actually, before you turn the battery off, you want to put this flaps on takeoff. See right there. Um, and then you turn the battery off. But again, because I'm not actually flying this airplane today, I'm just gonna go back. Go ahead and put the flaps back up. But if you were to fly, you would be, you know, putting that to take off. So here we go battery off now let us inspect the airplane on the outside so we're going to start here um, with the step up here you want to make sure it's there and it's not you know wobbly or anything like that it's it's there where it's supposed to be uh, Expedia antenna right there um, you want to check your tires so this tire looks in good shape your struts right here make sure it's good not bent or anything like that and also there's a brake line see this cable right here you want to make sure it's there that's your brake uh, the cable uh, the, the, the cable for your brake so you want to make sure that's there um, make sure the tire condition is good and it's uh, on the right uh, air pressure um, so Basically, you want to start here like I just did and then you're gonna go around the airplane and you're gonna stop back right here at the end. That's a proper uh, pre-flight checklist. So there's an air vent right there. You want to check that, make sure it's clear and there's nothing blocking it. Check your wing surface. So, you know, make sure there are no cracks or anything on the wings. We're gonna walk through forward now. Your stall strips. So here's a st stall strip right here. It's actually part of the wing and there are two per wing. So there's one right here and there's one right at the end. Make sure they're there and the warning hole as well. Your first fuel sump, you're gonna do that over here. So remember why I grabbed this? This is what you use it for. So to check the fuel on this tank, you just push, there's a hole right there and you push up like that and a sample of the fuel will go in there and basically what you're checking for you're going to raise this up and see first it has to be the color blue and make sure there are no bubbles in there if there, there's bubbles in there it means that uh there's water in your fuel so and you don't want that so right now this looks pretty good uh we're just going to go ahead and toss it i'm going to toss it right there uh, so that's our f first fuel sump on the left wing, and then we're gonna go, just go around again. Check your uh, your wing surface. Make sure make sure it's good. And then down here, you want to check the fuel vent. This is the fuel vent. I'm gonna try and bend the camera right here. See this holes right here? Those are your fuel vents. And what you're looking to make sure is that they are indeed open. Make sure nothing is blocking those holes. Um, and here we're good and then you want to check your pit up tube right here also again here you're checking for three holes there's one right there there's one right here 
and then there is one on this a tiny little one right there make sure those holes are free and they're there okay so that's your pitot tube we come back up we checked our you know landing light earlier you check your tank filler on this end basically you uh you open it like that just turn and look in so all is good over here you close it back we've checked the wing surface and then you want to check the surface here as well make sure there are no cracks or anything check your ailerons on this side just push it up and down like this and make sure it's moving freely and you can see the control sticks in there that it's moving with it make sure that's happening okay and you also want to check the hinge right here make sure everything is good um, and then we'll move to the flaps this is your flap on the left wing and you pretty much just checking the, the hinges make sure it's good and here it looks pretty good and now we're gonna move to the back door basically you want to open the back door make sure it works properly just open it a little bit and then close it right back so that's good make sure it opens freely and now we're gonna check the body of the airplane actually before we go ahead and do that you want to check for three antennas on this airplane and see that one right there make sure it's there and there's two right on top of the airplane make sure those are there all right and then next we're gonna check the fuselage which is the body of the airplane make sure you you know inspect it make sure there are no cracks or anything damaging on the body or the skin of the airplane and then we're gonna go back here where we have the stabilizers and the rudders so back here we have our stabilizer okay make sure it's moving freely and then check the hinges here everything seems intact okay and then this is your rudder back here make sure that moves as well and you also want to check the hinge over here make sure the cables are good left right all right and you want to check your skidding pad which is this right here uh, and this what this serves is basically like when you land say for example you land and sometimes when you take off sometimes you know people tend to pull the uh the control stick or the yoke too you know too much and basically you know your your tail might drag on the floor and this is this is put here to protect the body of the airplane uh, so check it and make sure it's there and then we're gonna go around again check the fuselage on the right side you're checking for cracks or anything damaging to the body which there is none here check the windows back here make sure it's good no cracks um, and then we'll move to the flaps here too check that hinge good moving forward and as you're moving just again you're checking the entire wing and making sure that it's good and there are no cracks in the wing and again we're gonna check the ailerons here moving freely and again make sure it's moving with the control sticks inside uh, in which that is the case here so that's good um, keep checking your wing surface all good the tip surface here everything looks good everything looks good everything looks good this is just dirt check your tank filler on the right side remember you have two fuel tanks one on the right wing one on the left wing again the same thing with did over there we're gonna do right here basically just opening it up and that is good and again check the fuel vents here those two holes so we're good and again you check the uh, stall strips again both of your wings will have two stall strips on them and here is one here the smaller one um, and then the other stall strip and one in hole right here always make sure those are there it should be part of your wing so if it's missing then something is wrong um, 
and then now we're gonna go down again check the tires here make sure the tire condition is good uh, this tire does have some wear and tear but you know, this is pretty good and our fuel sump the same thing you did on that wing you have to do here and basically get a sample of the fuel on the right tank uh, so push up just a little bit and again what you're looking for is make sure it's clear blue <clears throat> and then make sure there are no bubbles in the uh, in your fuel so this is good go ahead and toss it all right so while we do that you want to check your steps here make sure it's 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 there AOT post this right here make sure it's there okay um, and then you move forward to where the engine bay is your cowling but first check the air vent here make sure it's open and clear there's nothing blocking it and also you want to check the screws on the cow and make sure nothing is like poking out if you see anything poking out that's what this is for you know you just want to tighten it up you know but right here everything looks good and then you want to check the condition of your exhaust also this exhaust has a little bit of crack on it uh, but nothing big deal say you had a huge crack all over it then that's a problem but check the exhaust make sure it's there and nothing crazy uh, and now we're going to check our fuel level, I mean our oil level. And this is how you do that. You basically open this right here, just turn it counterclockwise, open. And then you want to, this thing is hot, okay. I'm going to need a napkin for this, I think I've got something here. You want to open that. And as you see here, it says minimum. 4 8th and maximum is 6 8 so the rule of thumb is the oil level should be between 4 and 6 when you check so when we pull this out that's those are the numbers we're looking for okay hope you can see that you see right it's below 6 so we're good to go the oil level is good and then you just close it back finger tight never tighten this too much you know so the the next person checking it doesn't curse you out just fingertip tight go like that shut it off clockwise just roll it in and oops and that is that now we'll move on to our props here at first you want to check the uh, the vent Make sure that's clear on this side too. Make sure it's clear. Make sure there's nothing blocking any of these vents here and the one below. And your props, you just want to check the blades. Make sure there are no cracks on them. Okay, so this is good. You can turn it from now. Make sure that's happening so that this is good. Also check the, uh, the front wheel and tire. Make sure nothing comes out odd when you're checking this. Again, you're checking for the uh, uh, the air pressure. You're also checking for the condition of the tires. Um, and this this looks pretty good. Um, we're gonna move on to these two pipes over here. Make sure these two are there. It also serves as vents, and there's an air vent here too. And while we're down here, we're going to do our last fuel sump. See? So, you see we did one on here on the left side, and we also did one on the right side. And here, we're going to do one. This is the fuel running into the engine, because we're right underneath the engine here. So, make sure all fuel sumps, again, what you're looking for is the color and also bubbles. And this right here looks good. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and toss that. All right, so I believe this is the end of our inspection. And as you can see, I am right where I started from. Um, and that's that's the basics of it. You basically go 360 and you come back to this step here. 
okay so that's the end of our inspection of the diamond star da40 um until next time i hope you guys enjoy the video and if you have not subscribed to the channel yet please do so and leave the comments below thank you for watching talk to you later bye